This is what we call in media res. Ruka, don't jump on that computer. Oh, he jumped on the freaking computer. You, this cat, he's out of control. He's in front of the screen. I'm playing on my preview window. I take no responsibility for the way that this game goes at this point. I can't even. He's standing in front of the preview window. I gotta switch back to the other window. Okay. My son, desperately hunting for food, not realizing the only food in this room is human food. I apologize if y'all just got a face full. It was not my intention. Brother, who doesn't love the two tile wide setup? I haven't looked at like our fine grain stats, and in particular in this case, it would mostly be like, um, yeah, I like this actually. It would mostly be like uh, the, the highest combo we've ever had, but I'm sure our highest combo has to be higher on two tile wide than it's been on anything else. This is, it, I'm impressed with myself and it doesn't necessarily take a lot for me to get to that point. But still, that's on top of the garbage hole. You fool, you, you ignoramus. Just let me place one more. It had to be there, I think. The rare air. Thank you! Sometimes you gotta take gambles in the rare air. You don't like gambling in the rare air, you're playing the wrong game. I, on the other hand, am playing the right game. The game of Tetris. The sport of kings. And lords the world over. And never forget it. And who's the lord? Ho oh, ho ho! Right now? I don't know. Probably somebody I've never heard of who is insanely good at the game, to be honest. It's not a slight to say I've never heard of them. They've probably never heard of me either. The two titans of the sport, doomed to never know each other exist. Oh, that's not where you want to put that one. Oh, dude. When you look and you see that you have so many KOs, and there's still so many um, people on you, that's where you want to be. Not just in this game, but in this in this life. You know, this thing that, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we get together today to celebrate this so-called thing life. I don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> I may have never known them to begin with. We're already at 75% up. I'm not even playing the game anymore. I'm just placing pieces badly. That's my, my modus operandi. There you go. You had bits. Now bring yourself back. There you go. You freed yourself up just waiting for another long piece. Don't hit me with the low battery, Reggie. I just want to get one more video out of this today, okay? That's it. We still got two attackers. There's no way we're not the badge lord with 12 KOs. It's just unreasonable to assume. How many, where are we at in the game right now? 26 remain. Okay. It's an exciting game. You have to love it. So you take the good with the bad with me, okay? Sometimes the old cerebral cortex starts to fire incorrectly, and it says, like, hey, you know what would be a good move? Thing that's obviously not a good move. Like, even that one was relatively bad. But you take the good with the bad, because it also leads to these situations that don't exist for a lot of other players, where we play ourselves out of a nightmare zone. And, and it just sort of works. Nobody really gets why, myself least of all. But it just works, dude. Now, light on attackers. We're gonna go back to... We're gonna go to badges. I'm gonna take the bull by the freaking horns.
not on top of the garbage hole. Thank you. We gotta go attackers. We had, we had too much heat on us. I wish the other attackers knew that I was trying to help them out by eliminating their competition. We got him. Taking the bull by the horn strat actually worked. Okay. If only there was a multiplier over 100. If it won't go, it won't go, but I will be upset. If it won't go, it won't go. You know the motto. in a little bit of heat a smile crosses my face why this run's got everything now including a major mistake at the top just to make it a little spicier as a 19 kill victory to start the video and that's what we call in media res sorry Carl when you're a hot you're a hot Chalk that one up. That's win number 82. 18 to go. Stretch it out. I'd love to get two in a row. <laughs> low, low battery. Bless the controller. No low battery notice in this one, please. No low battery notice. He's hot. You guys know that Canadian song? The kid is hot tonight. Well, so hot tonight. But where will he be tomorrow? It's a Canadian classic. I have no idea who sings it. It might be Loverboy. Which would explain why I don't know it, because it's not uh, working for the weekend. There are other much more famous song. You just gotta, at some point, you gotta make moves, you know what I mean? Perhaps to a surprise, or to your surprise, I should say, I do not mind the way we, we played this one. We got a little opening still. Got ourselves back down to the bottom. Could be better. Has been worse. I don't really like that. If there's anything... I didn't even really do like a post-mortem in the last game. But like, if there's anything in that last game I'm obviously proud of, it's the fact that, you know, when push came to shove, we did, and by we, I mean me with no outside help whatsoever, looked at the situation and said, you know what? The time is right if we want to. If we want to get a win in this game. If we want to entertain thoughts of the dub. What's the what's the way forward for us? Oh, it's so very simple. Even a child couldn't understand it. You got to kill your competition. You know, I, I don't want to be on KOs right now. They have the momentum. We can't send them any garbage because they are, uh, they're sending me garbage faster. I can roll this janky two tile wide. It bothers me not. I am hoping to bleed off a little aggression. I'm not worried about death. I'm worried about the slow death. La petite mort. Not being able to get enough kills to, you know, reliably get ourselves out. That's going to be a problem. So here's what we're going to do. We're going back with the Pro Controller. Get ready. 
Oh my god, we already had a phantom drop. This would be a legendary performance. So far, so good, baby. I hate this controller, dude. I'm gonna have to maybe play it just a little bit slower. Wow, it's actually terrible. But I don't know, like, how else you can entertain the idea. It okay, dude. I'm <laughs> the D-pad on the Pro Controller is just absolutely terrible. I apologize. 11 minutes into this one, we're gonna try to let it ride. Can you use the analog stick instead? Because, like, I mean, the problem is there's no place to plug in the controller. So you know what we can do? I bet we can get enough juice in a couple of games to squeeze out a good game on the Joy-Cons. That's my bad. I had them in this little thing. Instead of, you know, in a place where they actually could have been doing some good. But it is what it is. We'll try with the pro con. Just getting warmed up. Confirmed, by the way, you cannot use the left stick. What we have to do is use the D-pad. Hopefully, it's just... Get... I know there are good... Um, Tetris 99 players out there on planet Earth that use the D-pad. Please, if you see these people playing Tetris 99, sorry, not with the D-pad, with the um, with the Pro Controller, please encourage them to continue using the Pro Controller because it's horrible. And if they're already good, I don't want them getting any better. Okay? I don't, I don't, I don't want them getting. It, it just. It just puts the pieces down. Um, it puts the pieces down for you. Is the problem? Um, could I? Could I possibly use left Joy-Con? Yo, I got. No, I was uh, gonna say I'll go get Kate's Joy-Cons, but though they're paired to her Switch, and the apartment we have is small enough that it would probably bleed over. And yeah, you get the general gist of it and the idea and the, the so on and the who's it's in the what nows. You know what I mean? So we're gonna try one more and then we're gonna... <laughs> I mean, it's only been like a minute since the controller ran out of battery. I doubt in... in well, it's been like three minutes. I doubt in three minutes. Um, They've, they've charged enough. Um, that's that's not really an appreciable amount of time. I feel like if I play slower, I will not eliminate... I will not eliminate the miss drops, but I might minimize the miss drops. It is... Good God. I don't think it's really as bad as I am making it out to be, but it's the combination of the D-pad being very sensitive, combined with the lack of, uh, well, really like the opposite muscle memory I have, you know what I mean? And the, the, mu the muscle memory I have is uh, throwing me off more than anything else. So I'm just very, very slowly Placing my pieces. Why why be so urgent, my friends? We don't have to play such an urgent game. We could play a very slow, methodical game instead. Endeavoring whenever possible to minimize the amount of pieces being placed in poor situations. Doesn't that sound like fun, gents? A rousing game of don't place the piece incorrectly. Huzzah and all that. Okay, I feel like we can afford to go slightly faster. Nope. That's a that's a classic mistake right there. Turns out speed you were at. 
pretty much a okay. Well, um, this is miserable. I have to try to get these controllers back. If, if they're gonna go out of batteries, they're gonna go out of batteries. You're seeing a broken man, which is crazy, because six seconds ago, and by six seconds, I mean six minutes ago, we were uh, dominating performance. If they go out here, it is what it is. Um, we'll just end the video there. I believe I have to disconnect this controller for a moment. And we'll end the video having garnered a win. But at the same time, that's going to have to do it for Tetris today. That's the problem. We played a little too much Tetris. You know what I mean? Find controllers, please. Got it? Oh, I see. When it says find controllers, it means literally find them in your house. Don't judge me for playing Ring Fit, please. That's what we're looking for. Oh, low battery. No kidding. Okay. Just just let me get one game. That's all I, I, I beg of you. A single game of Tetris 99 with these working. If we could get a two-win episode where we only had two games that actually used the proper controller, as far as I'm concerned, that's the only thing we could ever ask for. That's a win. That's two wins in a row, in fact. When I told Mouth that the Canucks are winning 4-1 10 minutes into the game, he said this is like when everybody thought the Buffalo Sabres were going to win the cup because they won 10 games in a row. I get it. Like, you know, you cheer for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They're uh, the most pay-to-win organization in the NHL right now. Anytime you bring that up, they go, what about the year 2000 New York Rangers? Hey, well, <laughs> it's very much like a Leafs fan to be living in the past. Anyway, I don't really get into these hockey arguments. You know, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, two dudes supporting the, the team that in all likelihood they just happen to be geographically closest to. You know, no, no hard feelings are necessitated. That being said, if you root for anybody but the Canucks, get out. I'm just kidding. Now, deserved KO? No, not deserved KO. Thank you for asking and thank you for keeping me honest. Why, why so much heat? If you knew what I'd gone through today, you wouldn't be sending me this much heat. You might send me a, a bouquet of a dozen red roses, please. Instead, you send me this riffraff. What? What? Doesn't make any dang sense. Forgive the language. It doesn't make any freaking sense. But I love it! Because when you send me this garbage, oh, it unleashes something inside of me. I don't even know how to describe it. It's, uh, it's like that TV on the radio song, Wolf Like Me. You know, that. My body strain, not something, yeah, but that I like it. You, you know it. Not only is it a famous uh, indie song on its own merits, but I believe it was also in, like, that weird era where um, indie became, or indie rock specifically, I guess, became so popular that it like found its way onto a Madden soundtrack, and I'm sure confused uh, people all over America. You got a place, you got a place, then you got to bounce. Didn't have to be in that order. We could have bounced, then placed. It also would have been fine. We're rolling the one tile wide strat. I'd like to get back to the tootie. If possible. If not possible, don't freak out. I love it. More. Yes, sure. Why not? Knock yourself out. 
Doesn't bother me, brother. We definitely can assume that there is a long piece coming our way at some point in the near future. I mean, this is some heat. Don't get me wrong. For only being in the top 50, things are getting pretty spiced. But it is, it's just one badge lord making this look like this is such a problem. And I'm hoping, I mean, this is a badge lord v badge lord situation. Whoever wins, one of us will probably end up in a in a really good position, probably me, um, to take the game from this point onwards. We do have a two tile wide setup as well. Are we confident enough in the two tile wide? While I was saying it, the answer became clear that it was no, apparently, because I built into the one tile wide instead. And that's okay. I don't think we got a KO there, but we did convince the Badge Lord to back off. Short of actually, like, going looking for him, manually targeting on the map, that's not likely to uh, be a, a, a viable strategy in my personal opinion, so we're just gonna bail on him for now. <laughs> Hold on, I almost did some galaxy brain stuff there that would have been ill-advised, uh, both in hindsight and in foresight, though foresight, you know, hindsight is 2020. foresight mm, gets a little cloudy sometimes. Gotta admit, these guys are, they're hanging tough, staying hungry, going the distance, you know, they're not gonna stop. Just a man and his will to place lines. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the tiger. It's the... <laughs> There's a way out. You know, if you gotta... Sometimes you gotta accept that to rebuild from a mistake, it's gonna take you more lines to overbuild on top of it. But you will get there. If you believe you can get there, you have the chance to get there. If you don't believe you're gonna get there, just give up already. Give me your kill. I want it. I want the badges. Have I not proven my, my desire to get those badges? I feel like I've made my case pretty clear. Three badges is the KO, uh, no. Wait, is he targeting me or am I targeting him? Things you should probably know by your 1500th game of Tetris 99. I'm just, I'm so happy the controller's actually functioning, dude. We don't want to be here. Like, we need to get down to the bottom. Desperately? I had somehow forgotten we were like... <laughs> almost at the very end of the game. Ah, it's the wrong place for it, but life comes at you fast in the top 10. Or the top 15. to be done. Need a long piece there, that's okay. And we need a long piece yet again. You know what? That's that's what we in the business call a preemptive measure. We knew there was gonna be a problem there in a moment. So we said no 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 problem. No problem required. Got ourselves down to the bottom and got the kill that launched the top 10. The kill that launched a thousand ships. Thank you for moving one over. I really appreciate that. I wasn't sure if you were gonna do it. Okay, um, that's horrible. I was gonna say, or is it? But like, it definitely is. Put me on attackers and thanks for the double place. I know we're on top of the garbage hole. 
I don't want to be on top of the garbage hole. Sometimes, you know, things don't go the way you want them to. Didn't mean for that. Well, looks like we got a, the Northern Lion special coming up. Hey, one uh, attempted win. In spite of a staggering amount of missed drops coming right up. Hey, wait. Do you want me to build on top of the garbage hole with that? Oh, shit. <laughs> do you even need to have to ask? Do I want you to build on top of the garbage hole with that? Hey, do you want a vaguely offensive, uh, uh, maybe even a little bit racial uh, stereotype accent with that? I'm not above calling people out, including myself, when necessary. What are you doing? What are you doing, though? You guys ever see the show, I Shouldn't Be Alive, on the Discovery Channel? Oh, no reason. What are you doing? Why are you winning? Like, do you have a problem? Alright, fine, I'll give you one more until the batteries go out. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just wanted it more. <laughs> Spend the whole game doing absolutely nothing. Come out on the other side with a crisp dub. Feels good, man. But you know what? I've learned one thing when I'm playing video games. You ride the hot hand. Two wins this episode is kind of embarrassing, but I believe that does take us up to 84, which is uh, an impressive number. You know what the weirdest thing about the last uh, run was? Is that uh, it wasn't even like... It, I'm not going to say it wasn't close, because that kind of that's braggadocious, which is not what I'm going for. Rather, what I would say is like... Long piece? You know, I think you just gotta bail out. I think we screwed up bad enough that we're happy with that. Um, what I would say instead is uh, we were like never really attacked almost the entire game. Even when it was one on one. Bad timing. Um, even when it was one-on-one, -on -one, it was basically just, like, me sending. That has nothing to do with my own performance and ability in this game. <laughs> has everything to do with, uh, being in the right place at the right time, and... Is it better to be lucky than good? No. But it's really nice to be both, I suppose when that situation is able to present itself, at least. But without a doubt, that was probably the worst we've played and gotten a win. At least in terms of, like, where we put the lines down. If you came in second on that one, and you're insulted by the words coming out of your mouth, out of my mouth, I should say, uh, I apologize. But around here... We tell a little something called the truth, maybe you heard of it. I'm not afraid of offense, okay? It's the kind of show I operate. Thank you. This is, this is uh, what I've been asking for. A little bit more, a little bit more heat. 
one KO. I'm sorry to tell you that's not good enough. We're gonna build a little bit. Should probably be sending baby lines, but I don't like sending baby lines as much when we're not on the one tile wide. You know, it feels like a slap in the face. Okay, sure. Unfortunately, we bled off all of our aggression. It's okay. Two KOs and a 25% damage boost for a couple of Tetrises. All that for a drop of blood. Ah, the one time you don't want to build flat because we screwed ourselves over a little bit. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves out of it. I know, by the way. It gives people serious uh, fits. Just place and then go. That, it had to be done. I screwed it up, but it had to be done. Ooh, that's the wrong piece. You know what? Now it feels like home. Gotta do this. Then this. Next long piece plugs a gap. As long as you know where that next long piece is going. Don't you do this to me. As long as you know where the next long piece is going, you got no problems. Or fewer problems. Cover the garbage hole more than we should have, but you know what? It's okay. We don't like to build in this fashion here. We like to build in this fashion here. Okay. Take a second. Cat hair is getting the scratch the nose. Give yourself a little nose scratch. What do you got going on here? What, what we got going on here is a textbook one tile wide. Not my favorite structure, but the structure my brain defaults to whenever it finds itself in moments of strife. And it could be worse. It could default to, you know, some kind of horrific disaster. No jokes about my hairline, please. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we got a two-tile wide setup. Should we choose to preserve it? And you know what? Once you go on attackers, you know some heat's coming. Not afraid. Okay, sure, you got me. Very slightly afraid. What are you doing? This is a weird one. Sometimes I gotta ask my brain what it's doing, because I I don't know what it's doing. We, we screwed ourselves out of a good opportunity there. I'm not afraid who knows it. Long piece, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No more thank yous required. Thank yous are for combos exclusively. So much cat hair. To be honest, um, two KOs is a little light for where we'd like to be. Badge Lord, I actually like you got me out of my seat on that. No, Badge Lord was killed, which is awesome. Except if a Badge Lord dies and you didn't kill him, what you just witnessed was the creation of a new Badge Lord. That's like Darth Vader takes his throne. 2006, one perfect shot. It's called Cinema, look it up, sweetheart, etc., etc. Okay, you got a good thing going with this too wide. Thank you. Thought we were screwed on that one. This could be a decent combo. I know I, I'm hitting you with a, basically a radio pseudo silence right now. This is a new one, but I trust I trust my brain right now. I do, brain. You're gonna get me out of this one, right? We have to be on attackers. Long piece is too far away. Welcome to the rare air. It's a little too much to handle. 
I don't know how much we bled off, though. Again, if you're not bleeding off... Aggression, there's no point in... Switching. Garbage hole. I can say it, you can't say it. Could have done that uh, backwards, would have been way better. Garbage hole, but this time for a good reason, nah, we're dead. Anyway, dude, it was still a great episode for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Two wins, and I'll see you next time. See ya!